Well, it's Monday morning and it's not looking good. Ooh, isn't that nasty? Them ruts are probably, I don't know, two and a half feet deep. And as you can see, it's full to the top. We just walked down through the woods too. The woods ain't no better. So we're gonna go home, I guess. Try to let it heal, the sun's out now. So hopefully, I, it ain't gonna dry that up. We're gonna have to splash that water out. But the, the, most of the spots in the woods in bed. There's some low spots that are full of water like that. I don't know how much rain they got down here, but good Lord, they must've got a lot. So we'll let it heal today. Try to come back tomorrow. It's a shame because we're right at the end. We got all the blue trees done Friday. So what we're working on now is the neighbor, there's a little strip comes up through here, red trees. There's only 50 trees total. I don't know how much is in this piece of woods there, but then there's some on the other side of that woods. The forester and landowner are back are marking some more. I don't know how much they're marking, but they're marking some more on the ground we've been working on. I really wish they wouldn't do that now since we got all this rain. We caught this job just at the right time, but it's it's back to being underwater now. So I don't know, we'll see. Hopefully they don't mark too many because I think it's gonna be a struggle getting them out, but cross our fingers. See what tomorrow brings. Well, we're cutting the last one on this side of the property. We started on the red trees this morning. Uh, still a little wet in there, but <laughs> we're getting it anyway. You ought to be flopping that thing out here in the field, I would think it should be. Yo, oh, there it comes. Ooh, what a mess. So yeah, we started on the red trees this morning. There's 52 of them, I think, your total. I think we're at, uh, what am I at right now? 18, so we're missing a bunch. But this is the last one on this side. We gotta go on a wild goose chase, find the rest of them. They should be, they should go down the road there, and I think they're supposedly over there on the other side of these people's house or this field. So. Mostly get this one cleaned up, we'll eat lunch, and we'll go looking for it. My truck just left with a load. So we done pretty good this morning. Got probably three loads out already by lunchtime. Two and a half anyway. So that's good. Hopefully we get this job wrapped up tomorrow. The extra trees at the Forester Mark yesterday, the guy we long for said he don't want to buy them. Apparently it was 36 six trees or 32 trees there's only 3,000 feet so it wasn't even a load and 30 some trees so I can kind of see why he didn't want to farm ain't no good I'm gonna sneak around here and find him all right I'm gonna clean this mess up well we got the last one down we cleaned the field up we're piling these logs up now so the truck driver when he comes in hauls them he can reach them all getting them up to the loader, put them in a nice neat pile, and then we'll eat lunch and jump in the pickup, see if we can't find the rest of the trees around the corner. We'll have to take a walk. I'll be glad when this one's done. sleeping on the floor. Worked hard today. Well, I thought the one half of this job was scattered out real well, not even half the bulk of it, but Holy cow, we had, we worked that strip up of them red trees yesterday. We had uh, 24 by the end of the day yesterday. They were scattered out pretty good in there. Well then, of course there's 52 red trees total. Like right now, he's 
cutting on the red one, but there's 50, 52 of them, I think, total, red trees. And uh, so we went on a wild goose hunt and found some of them. But you want to talk about scattered out. My goodness. And we're skidding it. Holy cow. It's taking me, uh, it's taking me about 20 minutes, 15 minutes to go out to the loader and come back to the woods where we're working. We started off today. We needed uh, like 28 of them, I think, 28 trees left. So I'm hoping we get them by the end of the day. I'm not looking promising, but I'm hoping. They busted the heck out of that one. What he's got going on here lately. But... It's a pin oak anyway. They're going to make a mat out of it, but still. And it's thick. I mean, it is just thick in here. And it's, I don't know if you can tell in the camera, but the um, leaves are like black. This has been underwater. Little dog's been riding around in the skitter. He likes the air conditioning too. Well, hopefully we get him. Well, we got the last tree in the gravel right now. We're done. We got the rest of the red trees today. All the blue trees. Well, we got one white oak tree back in the corner up this. We'll get it the bar and throw it on with the straight mats. We got to, uh, the landowner wants us to clear a little spot for him. He's going to make a food plot for the deer. So uh, we're going to do that tomorrow. And then we'll start moving equipment back up north. We're supposed to work, well, I'm moving to church, so I know I'm working. I got a little piece of my own that I bought prime. I think it's 75 trees or something. But it packs right up to a piece that it got long before I bought. Uh, he bought in a couple years ago though. That guy was getting a little upset. I'm not sure if he still got involved or not. It's another one that woods like his where it's just like let me get it. And it's great big old trees, so it's a little bit too much to skip with the bulldozer. Unless you cut them all in little pieces. So we'll see what tomorrow brings for what he's food plots. I know he wants us a clear cut one and then he's got three other sections he wants to put food plots in, but he's gonna do them himself. He just wants us to cut the bigger trees out of it for him. There's no timber in it at all. Just jump. So we'll get that taken care of. We'll be out of here. Uh, we're gonna smack this. Last tree to mystery, we'll call it the mystery, one we missed. We'll drop it out here in this field. Cut it all before it's brushed up against the edge. Then we're going to get out there and work on the food plots for the landowner. We're going to uh, clear cut one completely. And then the other two he's got in there, he wants us, I think they're going to tackle them themselves. Then. this morning <laughs> and it all went the heck in a hand basket. Uh, trying to pull the top in, caught the stump I guess. That's an old there's a patch in there already. So I guess it just flexed the tire just enough for the patch and rip the tube so. I'm guessing that's the same hole. 
need new tires, but the problem is right now the price of tires is through the roof. So I was kind of hoping to make them last so the price come down, but I can't keep going like this. So might have to get rear tires or something. Even the little dog's confused. Oh well, cold tire man, he'll be out. He should be out shortly. He'll break it down, put an R patch in it, put a tube in it, and we'll get back after it. Well, we're working on the food plot for the landowner. He had his high stump the ball just so uh, he's going to have somebody come in here with an excavator and dig them all out. That guy wanted a high stump. So. I ain't fooling with the logs back here anyway. The wood is pretty much wet now. I had that buddy of mine come over and grade it all up, so I ain't tearing it up again. My little skitter operator, my little co-pilot's asleep on the job. Got a couple more trees to get here, then we'll have relic, I think. I bet y'all don't want us to do anything else or not, but see how she goes. Well, howdy. Today is, uh, what is today? Wednesday the 31st or 1st? I, I don't even know. Uh, we're supposed to get the remnants of Ida today. It's just rain. While well, we're getting rain, we ain't getting hammered like uh, Louisiana did, so we're, we're going to fare out pretty good. We're just going to kind of get pissed on up here. Uh, they don't know whether we're going to get how much rain we get, so time will tell, I guess. AccuWeather on the phone saying two inches. As of last night, actually, I didn't even check it this morning, so we moved all the iron back here to my house. So instead of rotting the woods all up yesterday and today, we're going to do some maintenance today. I got a service of skitter, got some things that's acting up on it we tore mud flap off the road tractor yesterday got put it back on got a um airbag that's broke the pedestal off the bottom of us so we're gonna do that today so so yeah it's a maintenance day that way we don't rut the woods all up and she fills full of water and hopefully this rain gets out here this morning or to, i mean by tomorrow morning maybe we can get in there and get the landing set up tomorrow maybe try to get a couple trees cut so i don't know see what happens who knows how much rain we're going to get but it's supposed to move in here this afternoon sometime so hopefully we don't get much but it's not looking promising so we're uh waiting on young buck to get here this morning he's running late i'm not sure what his deal is this morning he's i told him to be here 7 30 which is late normally we get here we start six o'clock we get here meet the shop here at six but I told him since we just do a maintenance, he can sleep in. I guess he took that as well. He can sleep in as long as he wants. So <laughs> I just called him, got his butt out of bed. He should be here shortly if he hustles along. So once he gets here, we'll get rolling. Well, the rain's here. It's been raining like this for uh, about two hours now. So got the skitter serviced. That's good to go. Uh, the only thing I got to do is I'm going to put that, that tire that I keep blowing that keeps the sidewalls toward that tire. I keep tearing the tube in. I'm going to put it on the front. That way it's not, when you put them logs in the back, it squats a little bit, you know, and then you run over something. It don't, we don't run into that much on the front. So I'm going to put, I'm just going to flip flop and try to buy me some times. We're going to do that in the morning. Got the airbag on the low boy. He did not fix the mud flap. As you can see, but it still didn't get to that. But we'll get it tomorrow. It's no big deal. Hopefully, if it ain't raining in the morning, I think what we're going to do is run up, take the dozer up there first, push off a landing. And then I'll move the other two pieces over there. And maybe if it ain't, the woods ain't too terribly bad, we get get a few trees on the ground, even if we just cut ahead tomorrow and leave them lay. So we'll see how much more of this we get. I know up north is getting it worse than we are. I'm looking on the radar, Pennsylvania and stuff like that's been getting pounded all day with this rain. It just kind of, I mean, it's been raining on and off very little here today, but it just finally set in, like I said, about two hours ago. So I think all in all, you know, it could have been worse. Obviously it could have been worse. We could be Louisiana, but so we'll see how it goes. Start the new job tomorrow, hopefully. 
sit here and oh i got a new service truck i got it pulled in here i i, I got a handful of tools in there now so i'm going to um try to get the rest of it organized see how it Four wheel drive now, so we don't hopefully won't get her stuck. But the dog's been hanging out, getting wet all day. Oh well. All right, everybody, I'm gonna sit here and watch it rain and try to organize this new service truck and hit her hard tomorrow. Hopefully, thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.